Dr. Betty, how big is a big penis? Oh, it's humongous. <laughs> it hangs down to their knees. At least to your knees, darling, and it has to be thick. Ever see those, like, doctored photos of the guy in Africa in the bush and his dick, like, goes to his ankle? That's Photoshop. Yeah, no, it's not that big. And that whole thing about Long Dong John Silver or whatever <laughs> that crap was. That's all, that's all crap. No. Okay, guys. First, we're going to start with what they say is the average size. And I've seen many much smaller. Yes, yes. So definitely. the average is supposed to be four and a half to five inches erect. It's about four inches. Four and a half. That's average dick. Okay. Now, if you consider that, uh, what would be big? I would say uh, uh, five, five and a half, six inches to six me. Six inches would be big. Six Seven inches. is big. Seven is definitely heading for big. Yeah, de definitely. Eight, I'd have to negotiate the last inch. <laughs> really? You know what my test for whether or not someone has a small dick? If you can fit their penis and their balls in your mouth at the same time, then it's small. And then everything else is kind of on the large size. I've never ever done that. <laughs> well, you well, pig. <laughs> <laughs> a finger. Used with style beats a big dick any day. Of course. You have to know how to use it, and it's all about clitoral stimulation with a little bit of vaginal you know, pen. I'm so it's so good. I'm so tired of men and women thinking that, that penetration of a penis in a vagina is the end-all, be-all of sex. No. It's one that's, aspect. That's how you make a baby. And it that's, can be fun. It can be fun. I'm not saying it isn't. But if you can only have that type of sex, it wouldn't be that fun for that long. You know? Well, not unless you can reach down and do your clitoris. Actually, at the end of my heterosexual mm -hmm. fucking, I only wanted one position. And it was one that worked the best. Doggy. That's all I wanted. Doggy. Certain penises are better with different sex positions. And, and sometimes you get a good one, it fits just right. And it takes time, I feel like, to get to know someone's genitals and get in the groove. And it can take a lot of lead time. They're always, and all of this information that's going out into the blogosphere and the sex information, etc., etc., is that you must always change and do a new thing and keep sex fine. No, if you find something that's good. And you like it. Groove, baby, groove. <laughs> all right, so now this big penis thing, boys, men. Most women don't want a big dick. No, they don't. They're, they're no. scared. To death they're, of they're them. They're daunting. They're daunting. They you'll never get anal with that. Oh, forget it. Most women, my darlings, are more concerned with the man who is attached to the penis rather than the size of it. So, if a man has sexual skills and he has a nice sense mm -hmm. of humor and he's there to please you, and of course it doesn't hurt to have a nice bank account. Well, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> so stop worrying. And get your sex skills. We're posting them very soon on the back. Fifteen of new clips, all about um, how to yes. play with a woman's yes. vulva. Yes, that's going to help. 